kapatid mo, eh. Hmm? Well, I am excited because, um, you know, it's, it's, like, it's a nice experience. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I don't like it. The Holland has taken care of it. I don't know why you guys are about to fall out. Just to get out. I don't know why. She says, you know, I want my hands, but I don't know. Anyway, guys, so let's see if um, we want to enjoy this. I'll let you know. I'll be with you all. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Anyway, I've got my niece yet, so my niece calls me mama, so don't worry about that, guys. If you hear mama, because she likes to call me mama. So we'll go and buy tickets. I'll let you know. Busy. So this is where you get the tickets. Adult round trip there. Twelve pounds. Child six pounds, family thirty pounds. One way six pounds. So I think we're gonna do. We're gonna do one way. And, but if you do one way, you go that side, and then you don't come back. No, we're gonna have to do round trip because we have to come back here. So guys, we bought our tickets, and uh, apparently we're gonna have to wait for about thirty minutes because we are at the end of the queue, and then we will experience the cable cars. Yeah guys, now we are on our way to go into the cable car, so we're really looking forward to this. I don't know how I'm going to feel because I don't like heights, but uh, you know, in life we've got to try some things. So guys, I am going to let you know how much I have enjoyed or not enjoyed it. So, let's go. Looks like we're going to... So it's us now going in guys. Oops. There we go. <laughs> it's just the top no, we're gonna are you gonna sit there? I think you better sit here. So guys we are in and um yeah, it feels good so far. Yes, so far so good. Um but uh yeah, we'll tell you a bit more once we are on our way. But uh, I'm sure um because it's not really too fast, it's not uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know about when it gets down there, maybe, you know, just change it, yes. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Not sure exactly, you know, I'm not going to uh, cross the river attempt, obviously. Yeah. But as to what else we're expecting, I am not so sure. Yeah. And uh, look at the queue, guys. The queue, all these people are waiting to go in. The door has closed. Us. This is the view in front of us. I don't know whether you can see the turbines or whatever it's called the water. Uh, so there's some activities for children. Here, guys, as you can see, create your own teddy bear. Just explore a bit of the reality of the land. Here, we'll So, guys, here we go. So in this this side over there, this one, how was the experience so far? Ah, it's very relaxing, it's very nice. Yes, I'm really enjoying this. It's not as bad as I thought. Nope. And uh, guys, oh, look really at the view too, guys, and it is worth it. Honestly, look at that. Uh, we are going to be in here to go one way. It takes 10 minutes and coming back it takes another 10 minutes so it is a total of 20 minutes wow. enjoying the going more up. Of the so guys this is an experience which you should not miss if you ever come to London look at the cables and we are yeah, in one of them and yes we are going to have to have a guys so <laughs> Look at my daughter, Lisa, she's so excited. I've been telling her to shoot for a minute so that I can talk, but she cannot stop. 
you guys to look at the view. This is amazing. It is definitely something that everyone should do. And this is the view, guys. I am going to remain seated because I think that is as much as I can do. But guys, guys, I recommend you to try this. It's not as Look bad. at the view, guys, behind here. Look at this beautiful view. That's right. Let me just turn my camera, guys, and show you. There. This is the view. If you can see that you white here. And we are going more up. That hotel is where we are staying in the building next to the yacht, the white watch. So, guys, this is yeah, really, really good. Uh, and look, this is the view. You can see the cars at the bottom. I recommend that you should do this if you ever come to London or if you find a cable car anywhere in the world where they, they offer cable car experience. This is amazing. I might change my mind and just to do one way guys but it is indeed a, an experience worth having yeah, once in a lifetime our hotel guys and this is the view it's exo london on a friday evening and we are in the month of what month are we <laughs> the month of april in london this is the view guys it's exo london there's uh, quite a lot of movement now because people are coming from the Excel London for the Pokemon games and that's where our boys are attending their gaming activities as they follow Pokemon. 
so guys it was a lovely lovely day we have enjoyed me and my niece have been showing you how we went on the cable car and also we were in that just straight ahead of me is the restaurant or a cafe if you like where we went this afternoon to have our lunch we had pizza in there which is uh, smoke baked or oven no I don't know is it oven no it's not oven baked the pizza was just uh, as much as a barbecue with charcoal or with gas all right you see what i mean with charcoal or with wood you got the flavor as well and it's with gas. You, you can yeah we could taste the flavor yeah it was really really nice Yes, it was really nice. How long does it take to bake? One pizza, about ninety seconds. Ninety wow. seconds, so quick! Wow! Wow! <laughs> so if you are busy, you got a quick yeah, yeah, but turnover, uh, which is what you need. It's still two pizzas at the time. So oh, two pizzas at a time. Yeah, we get to the point that sometimes people might have to wait like 20 minutes. All right. Which is not even that much uh, in a restaurant, but we try to... It's not deliver. considering in a normal restaurant, sometimes you wait more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try to deliver it as quick as possible. Uh, Doing a good job. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You will like definitely see us again. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. So, guys, this is where we were. I asked you, how was the pizza made? Pizza. Is it? They use coal, charcoal. Fl yes, I, I'm looking for the word. Smoke, oh, smoke baked or not smoke baked? No, grill. No, I don't know. Let me know, guys. I don't know what it is. How to say? What's the word? But you can even smell the smoke. So this is where we were earlier on, and we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed our lunch so the guys are in there busy so now we are headed to our hotel as you can see there's uh, lots of hotels in this area because of the excel london ahead of us that's an interesting uh van so it's a coffee van or they make coffee there or drinks i love it look at that guys this is so beautiful as you know i love classics so look at that that is beautiful mrs b coffee hmm. nice It's a flight path, guys. So, as you can see, there's an aeroplane there. So, it's a bit noisy. And uh, also, you find that there's some outdoor uh, restaurants or takeaway vans just here in front of me so people can be able to buy some food from there so we have um, I think we passed through uh, there's a Jamaican or Caribbean rather not Jamaican only but Caribbean takeaway and yeah there you go street food here so here they sell hot drinks and the one was this here yes. all right because we did pass here so you they sell street food here ah, interesting isn't it let's look here we got uh, uh, caribbean foods mm, nice brown stew so we might buy um Brown stew chicken with rice and peas, 12 pounds. Curry goat fest and festival. I don't know what that is. 
Hmm? No, I don't know what this means. What's festival? Deep fried dumplings. Oh, it's, it's dumplings. Deep fried dumplings. All right. That's what they call festival. Mm, interesting. And they've got parties as well. Four pounds. Better now. So, yeah, guys, we've just bought some parties. Uh, Caribbean parties. Jamaican. We bought the lamb one. And it smells really nice. Guys, in front of me there, that's the Excel London yeah, yeah, yeah. at night. So people are coming out from the venue now. guys this is the view here at the exo london look at how beautiful it looks at night really really nice uh, i have just come across or to the other side of uh, that uh, see where it says ibis novotel that's where we are staying and so we are at uh, novotel hotel and uh, that yacht there the sunborn london one of these good days I will go and stay in there and experience it but this is how beautiful it looks guys and here is the extra London and busy we're gonna go and walk that way keep going this way I'm just going to go and show you a bit more of how it looks like along the uh, river from this end. It's getting dark, so there isn't a lot of light, but I just want to show you how it looks like. Yeah, I don't know whether I'll be able to walk this side, maybe not. I think I have to go down this way. Just want to show you a different angle. And then uh, tomorrow I uh, will try and show you guys the inside the the Excel London if I don't manage to go in there this evening. But here yeah, guys traveling is a good thing to do there at the top. Uh, you can be able to walk i'm sure i will find out if it's possible to walk on there but this is the waterfront at xm so guys look this is a hotel can you believe it this is a yacht hotel and it is beautiful and this is the view Good morning guys, uh, we are just sitting at the breakfast table, look at the view, this is uh, the view that uh, we have, that's the view for the hotel, and uh, we just sit at the breakfast table, so, it's a London. <laughs> I'm going to show you how the breakfast looks like. Yeah, this is uh, the breakfast here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Looks good. Some fruit. Mm. Got juicy. This is it. Oh, there are smoothies. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'll come back. I'll come back. Just gonna come. On this side, you've got your cereals. So, mm -hmm. you're studying. No, no, no. Uh, granola. Yes, sir. Yeah. To make then, the yogurt. Yeah. And there's some way to make your to your no, oh, that's a pancake maker. So you got pancakes there. And here yeah, you got what you cook breakfast. Guys. So everything that you might need. Nice. There's a lot of variety. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And then, This is my breakfast. I've got um, a glass of uh, kiwi and banana. I've got my. So this is my breakfast. I've got uh, a glass of kiwi and uh, banana smoothie. Guys, okay, so this is my breakfast. I've got a glass of kiwi and banana smoothie. I've got Greek yogurt, got my cereals there, my banana, got um, my fruit bowl there. Good morning, good morning guys. Uh, we are at the London Excel. And uh, this is where we came with uh, my teenagers who follow Pokemon. So right now, the, that's the last day of the event here at the Exo London and uh, it's a special day for them I think that's when they close the event obviously and those champions will be recognized so we are going to go in the Exo as you can see there's many people here a lot more inside but uh, that's where we are going to go now so let's see what we can find today for you guys uh, if you're a Pokemon fan Pokemon let me know in the comment section box so this is how it looks at the venue and uh, you can see those people just in front of me are holding the pokemon so apparently that's what pokemon is all about uh, yesterday i managed to speak to one or two people they were telling me that it's to do with um loving these animals having a sense of community enjoying the pokemon world if you like so that's what we're here for let's go inside and see this is a racing car nice And this is how Excel London looks like inside. You can buy some food from here. People are just seated everywhere. So, guys, we have uh, some entrance cards. So, you see people wearing these sort of cards uh, because those are the entry to their game. And I've got my niece as well here with me, Lisa. And so we just want to find out really about more, more about Pokemon. It's a very big place. You see, there's somewhere people can sit down and eat and uh, enjoy. Very interesting. This is a big, big venue, guys, where they do different activities. So it's not just Pokemon. Every time there's different activities that happen here. And uh, I thought I should, I would just come and show you around. So uh, we are, I am a vlogger. Mm -hmm. So I'm just here to vlog the events, okay. to understand a bit more. So maybe you're the right person to tell me a bit more about this. Well, sure. Yeah. Oh, he's kindly required. He's going to tell, tell us a bit more about Pokemon, because I don't really understand it. Enjoy the game. I think they were telling me they won two of the games 
yesterday out of whatever at games they played. So yeah, but I think it's mostly about, it's not about winning, it's about enjoying. Exactly. It's yes, completely and, about enjoying, yeah, having fun. And having fun, meeting like-minded people. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Very interesting. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Thank you so much. Time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Have fun. Bye. Oh, that was very nice of them. That was really nice of the guys to tell us more about the Pokemon, guys. So I have got an understanding now of how these things work. So let's keep going, and we can be able to see more. Mm. Hello. How are you? So, what I... So guys, yeah, as you head there, it's about like-minded people enjoying the same games, uh, which in this case is Pokemon. Very interesting because they are all dressed in this, you know, similar gear, uh, holding uh, the Pokemon toys. Uh, you know, just like-minded people. Very interesting. So let's go and just see this venue, and maybe uh, if we see other people, we can see. But you can see even uh, small children play these games, little ones. Uh, let's go, Lisa. Lisa is uh, my niece. She's got the camera today. But yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Ah, that was nice of those guys to talk to us. Hey. Hi, hey guys. So, yeah, we're just gonna leave the venue now because uh, we finished seeing what we wanted to see. But that's how it looks like. Look, this is beautiful. Brings a lot of light in here. very nice venue so let me know if you enjoyed this video today guys and uh, if there's anything else you want to see in London or in the UK in Europe please let me know but today I was just coming to show you uh, London Excel or Excel London where they are holding the Pokemon game activities people from all over the world are here enjoying and sharing the same or the common uh, the uh, com community of Pokemon. Places to eat. Let me know in the comment section if you're a Pokemon fan or you play the game with the cards. What do you play cards? consoles I'll be interested in knowing people who have come for their activities here religious activities it's Ramadan of course this time of year and uh, they're just gathering here for their event it's a big event apparently um, I met one of the ladies earlier one young ladies who were telling me how big this event is people come from all over to come to this event and uh, yeah, I'm just got fascinated to see how many people are flowing through this, um, coming through the doors to go into the venue uh, for their religious activities. And that's what I love, that's my passion. I really love to see people enjoying what they believe in, enjoying what they grew up doing, enjoying their cultures, their religion. And yeah, it's so fascinating. And uh, yeah, that is why I travel to show you guys what happens in and around the world. Look, guys, you can see some ladies, some gentlemen, all dressed up in their religious attires, uh, going for their various events. This is speaking. That is what makes me tick. That side, there's people coming out of their Pokemon activities. They're finished today, and uh, you can also see some people mixing up. But uh, yeah, mostly to this side, I am seeing some people who are going for their religious activities. Very, very interesting and very, very fascinating. And that is what makes the world people mixing in one place, people respecting one another. People loving one another and acknowledging one another 
feeling for each other and I wish that's the way the way everyone of us feels. So guys now, guys I'm here at the Excel London and I was just sitting having my coffee like sitting here and then I noticed there was a lot of people coming in dressed in their lovely attires and I know it's Ramadan so I decided to approach this lovely young lady so that she can just explain to me what's going on. What's your name again? Rania. Rania. Oh, lovely name. You ready? Mm. Okay, so we've all the way from Coventry. Yeah. Oh, really? So, so a lot of people came from Midlands, London as well. Okay. All right. They had one just before mm. Ramadan as well. Okay. But basically, it's just to get all Muslims together because there's so many parts of the year where we're all doing our own thing. Like Ramadan, you know, it's our event. Yes. Where we're all fasting, just yeah. doing part of our faith. Mm -hmm. So the event basically. You know what's going on in Palestine, yeah. that means yeah. a lot to us in Islam. Mm. And they're just talking basically because we're coming towards the end of it. Okay. And there's something called Layla Tukha. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's the month of, it's the day of like where God will forgive us and reward us basically. And today may be the night. Oh, nice. So that's why you see so many people coming from all different types of places. This is maybe. Yeah. Maybe the day. So you don't know. really know. Oh, wow. But it's always specified an odd night. So today's the seventh. The day before yesterday was the fifth. Okay. So basically today is like the last of my oh, so nice. so Okay, so there are people who are also watching online for just the They're watching online. All right. There's a link that you can share with you. And it's all over the world. It's all over the world. This one is UK. Oh, UK. But they're doing it all over the world. Oh, right. like Saudi Arabia. I know there's big news here. Yeah. This oh. is the biggest. This one is the biggest one. Yeah. So does this happen here at Excel every year? I think. No, no, they're trying to get bigger stadiums to talk to so many of us on the side. Yeah. It's a good opportunity to just be around our brothers and sisters and yeah. be in all the place. The last one I went to was in Birmingham. Oh, right. It's a small arena that there's 13,000 of us. Wow. This day, I know it's double. Yeah. Well. So they change venues. Yeah. Oh, right. It's really accessible for all Muslims. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm not very familiar to be honest, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. So I know there's Ramadan, but Ramadan is from how long from it? So it started on March the 11th, oh. say April the 7th. Oh, right. It may end on uh, March, not March, yeah. April the 10th. Oh, and right. then after we'll be So it's a month, 30 days. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Google and actually learn to be cool. Because I love travel. You know, guys, I love travel. And I love to know about different religion, cultures, foods. And I love people, so I'm gonna do more research so that by the time I visit, because I'm planning to visit, you know, different different countries, some of the countries. I know Somalia, 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 I know Right, that's interesting, yeah. yeah. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 you